Hi there, this screencast is all about how to use your keyboard uh, on your iPad and some of the extra features you'll find in the few sort of efficiency tips and what have you. First thing I want to talk about is how you can add actual extra keyboards, as it were, and languages, uh, alphabets, onto your keyboard. You do that by going into your settings and choosing general and once you're in there if you just swipe down to the bottom uh, you'll see you've got a keyboard option just there and if you tap keyboard and go through uh, you can then go to international keyboards and bring some more up. Before I go into that though please note the shortcut spit down the bottom you can actually program your keyboard, uh, your iPad, to react to different um, sort of short phrases. So, for example, if you wanted to always say laugh out loud rather than lol, you could just put lol in and program the shortcut to say laugh out loud. And I'll show you that in practice in a moment. Let's add some more keyboards in for now though, so let's go to international keyboards and add new keyboard and I'll add in, uh, let's say Chinese and I'll add in uh, the emoji keyboard for example uh, emoji keyboard is one with little emoticons on it that's little symbols to represent emotions or uh, different things uh, so now we've done that, uh, they're added in, that's lovely go back to our uh, open app, let's just say Safari, and we'll see the keyboards up straight away. Now, if you've only got the one keyboard program, you won't see this button, uh, but when you've got more than one keyboard, it does appear. And it's the little button next to the space bar with the little globe on it. If you tap it and keep your finger on it, you'll then see your other keyboards. Uh, I'll go into that in a second. So, the keyboard itself. It might be that you want to type uh, in this sort of fashion. You do that by hovering over G and H and just swiping outwards uh, and you get your keyboard like so. It might be that you don't like that though and you prefer a bigger keyboard so you can just swipe back together again to bring that back. If you're typing in French or German uh, or Greek or whatever, there are um, extra characters as well. You get to those by hovering, uh, press or pressing your, your finger onto the letter. So you get your accent graphs and your umlauts and what have you over your vowels mostly. Okay, um, you get the uh, sort of shortcuts there with some uh, punctuation marks as well. So for example, if you press onto the exclamation mark, you'll get a, an apostrophe appear. Or if you press on to the question mark, you'll get a quotation mark. Okay, uh, so that's how you can get some shortcuts up as well. Let's have a quick look at the keyboards then. You, you just tap onto your globe and load those up. Let's try the emoji one. And so you can see there you have different uh, images uh, you can use in your typing as well. And within each of these different screens as well, if you look across the top, you'll see you can swipe through multiples within those sections as well okay so there are normally more than one character and you can use that in your typed text one thing to remember though is that the people looking at what you've typed will need to have emoji enabled on their device as well so if you've got a person with an old mobile phone for example and you're sending them an iMessage then that special character won't appear actually on their screen just bear that in mind to get back from this keyboard into your usual keyboard, just tap the globe again, go back in, and away you go. As with all of the keyboards, if you want to hide that keyboard and get back to viewing what's actually on the screen, then what you have to do is just tap the keyboard down button in the bottom right hand corner with the uh, little graphic that represents the keyboard with a little arrow under it. You just tap that down, and then you're back to your main page again. Lots of little keyboard hints and tips there. I hope you find them useful. My name is Mark Anderson, and thank you very much.